really the tricky part but here's the one that where you have to use actually your brain i think i think so all right now let's let's try to find what is the value of t that i need to use okay what is t2 multiplied by q q is this which is x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 3 plus x raised to 2 plus 1 this is q so let's let's solve this so q and t2 is just 1 so you will get exactly the same thing and 0 minus x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 3 plus x raised to 2 plus 1 what do you get now when we're doing normal math we'll get minus 0 minus this is just minus x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 3 plus x raised to 2 plus 1 but since we're using modulo 2 arithmetic in modulo 2 arithmetic Galois field 2 to the 8 modulo 2 arithmetic addition and subtraction is exactly the same so I don't need to put that negative sign so this is just simply going to be x to the 5 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x to the 2 plus 1 is that simple so far all right I'm gonna bring this one here this one is right here now and I'm gonna bring this right here so I have to rewrite this 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 all right so far so good I hope so all right so let's do this let's calculate now this what is x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 3 plus x raised to 2 plus 1 multiply by q so let's do it here so x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 3 plus x raised to 2 plus 1 first of all I need to multiply by my quotient my quotient is x so let's do this x is a power of 1 when I multiply this I will get x to the 6 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4 I'm sorry where I'm lost uh, x to the 4 which is this x to the 3 plus x this is when I multiply this guy by my quotient let's subtract 1 okay x or 1 because in modulo 2 arithmetic addition and subtraction is exactly the same so when I um, so sorry uh, yeah so minus 1 1 minus this this guy was not there when when I x or when you look for similar things if they are not similar things you just simply make that part of that thing so x or of this is just x to the 6 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x plus 1 because this was not there otherwise it would have cancelled so it's just 1 all right good so now what we're going to do we're going to bring this down here x to the 5 plus x to the 4 so x to the 3 plus x to the 2 1 and I'm going to bring this guy down here x to the 6 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x plus 1 so I'm just simply bringing this out here so now let's calculate this part this guy okay what is it so I know my t2 t2 up this is actually this which is x plus 1 this is my t2 this guy is right here all right I'm sorry so this is my t2 for this problem all right so I'm trying to solve for this now all right so this is my t2 which is right here I need to multiply this by q all right what is my q q is x plus 1 all right so let's do this when I multiply this by x plus 1 so I'm going to rewrite this First, let's distribute x. So this is going to be x to the 7, x to the f uh, 6, x to the 4, I'm sorry, x to the 7, x to the 6, x to the 5, 
x to the 4, x to the 2, plus x. This is when I distributed this x with this. All right? But I also, also have to do this. So when I multiply 1 by all of this, I will get x to the 6 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4, x to the 3. x to the 3. All right, so I'm just distributing this one now. x to the 6, x to the 5, x to the 4, x to the 3, plus x. 1 times 1 is just 1. Now, in normal algebra, what do we do? We actually, when, you, when I multiply them, I'll add them up. But here we're using modulo 2 arithmetic. So, whichever is the same, I'm going to cross it. Whichever is different, I'm going to actually keep it. So I'm going to keep x to the 7. All right. So I'm going to cross this, cross this, cross this, cross this. All I left with is x to the 7 plus x to the 3 plus x to the 2 plus 1. So this is when I multiply this by x plus 1. Then I need to also subtract this x to the 5. When I subtract this, because I have to subtract t1, x to the 5. So let's do this. x to the 5 plus x to the 4, x to the 3. So let's subtract this guy. x to the 3, x to the 2, plus 1. So plus 1 which is modular to arithmetic. We're continuously doing modular to arithmetic, guys. So x to the 7, I left with x to the 7. x3 is gone, x2 is gone, 1, 1 is gone. So I end up with x to the 5, x to the 7, x to the 5, plus x to the 4. So here, I left with x to the 7, x to the 5, x to the 4. So, so so I'm going to bring this out here, and I'm going to bring this out here. Do I actually need to solve this? I really don't need to solve this. Why? Because my T1 value is going to become that multiplicative inverse that I'm looking for. So I don't need to solve for this. I'm just going to simply write this down here. x5 plus x4 plus x3 plus x plus 1. I'm going to bring this down here x to the 7 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4. All right, guys? So far, so good. So do I need to actually solve this? No, I don't need to solve this. I'm just going to simply bring this here because this value, this T1 value, is going to be my multiplicative inverse. All right? So check this out. So it should be my multiplicative inverse. All right? Because this is the first step we're doing right now. So, let's convert this into binary. So, I have bit 7 which is high. I have bit 6 is low. I have bit 5 is high. Bit 4 is high. What about x to the 3 is low. x to the 2 is low. x to the 1 is low. x to the 0 is low. Okay, when I have this in binary, now when I convert that, because I have converted that into 4 bits number. Why? Because hexadecimal is a 4 bit number. So this is 8 plus 2 is what? 10 plus 1, 11. Okay, what is 11 in hexadecimal? A is 10, 11 is B. A is 10, 11 is B. So this is B and this is just 0. So the first step of this is just to convert. I hope you guys are understanding it and enjoying it what is it that I'm trying to do the first step is this is the multiplicative inverse inverse of O C this is the first step when we're doing sub byte calculation the first step I need to do is to find the multiplicative inverse of that particular byte so the multiplicative inverse the first thing, the multiplicative inverse of OC is B0. 
sorry, not OC, 0C, so 0C is BO. I hope you liked the video. If you have uh, any other questions, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.